Good day, everyone. I am Assistant Professor Rushad Mistry from the Mechanical Engineering Department at Walchand Institute of Technology, Sholapur. And in this video, I will be talking about machine vision. So this topic, in fact, is a part of the series in industrial robotics. And this covers a very important aspect of uh, modern day industrial robots, that is machine vision or robot vision. So the learning outcome of this session is that the student will be able to define machine vision and its associated terms and explain fundamentals of image processing. So uh, if you actually look up definition for robot vision, or machine vision, or, or computer vision um, in different textbooks or online, you will come across different definitions. I have uh, seen textbooks which use these terms interchangeably as well. So when they say robot vision or computer vision or machine vision, it basically means uh, one and the same thing. So um, like I said, different sources can give uh, information which, uh, which is a bit different. And that's why it is more prudent, in fact, to look at different sources and, uh, and include, in fact, all of these. So on the basis of whatever I have read in textbooks and online, um, this is how I would sort of um, define robot vision, computer vision, and machine vision. So robot vision may be defined as the process of extracting, characterizing, and interpreting information from images of a 3D world. In fact, this applies to mach machine vision or computer vision as well. Um, I have seen another definition for computer vision. That is, it's the study and application of methods which allows a computer to understand the content of the image. Okay. And when we talk about machine vision in, in particular, it's the application of computer vision to industry and manufacturing. So in fact, um, uh, I would say robot vision would be a, a, a specific subset within machine vision, and machine vision itself would be a subset of computer vision. So I, in fact, robot vision I would define as uh, um, very specifically the application of computer vision or machine vision in this sense uh, for robot control tasks either with industrial jointed arm manipulators or with mobile robots. Then again, this is again, um, it depends upon what the source of your definition is. So what is typically machine vision and what is its scope? What, what are the different uh, areas of science and technology that it, it, it covers? So computer vision or machine vision as um, indicated in this figure typically uh, includes all these things. So in fact, for someone who really wants to make a, a, a good career in this particular field, he requires understanding of control systems, uh, a bit of artificial intelligence nowadays, machine learning, mathematics, the mathematics specifically behind vision um, um, and signal processing because this is, this is mainly all signal processing. The physics and optics involved because this is this is this is where the, all all the cameras come into picture, and and to a certain extent, if you're looking at very specific application, then you need a certain amount of background knowledge regarding that application. For example, here is neuro, neurobiology. If you're looking at physics and astrophysics, then in fact that would also come into place. So it's a very multidisciplinary field to begin with. So what is basically machine vision and what it involves? So it involves sensing and acquisition of the image, followed by what is called as image processing, which again may have sub-steps within it, such as processing, segmentation, description of the image, a recognition of a pattern, and then interpreting that. And then finally, outputting the results, either to a control system or uh, to an operator who can take necessary decisions. So um, when it comes to machine vision, like I said, sensing is the process which will yield the visual image. Pre-processing is a stage within the image processing which will do noise reduction and enhancement of these details. Segmentation will divide the image into objects of in in interest. And description basically uh, it is involving computation of features such as size, shape, etc. And then recognition involves classifying this and identifying those specifics. So this is in fact a part of the uh, image processing, image analysis, um, and other stuff. In fact, I use the word image processing in order to indicate a lot of things that you that you do with, uh, with an image using a computer. In fact, textbooks on image processing have their own vocabulary and own nomenclature as to what should be called image processing, what is image analysis, uh, okay, well, what is, um, uh, and, and so on and so on. Then, 
again, we continue with our uh, discussion regarding the machine vision process. The process of vision system actually starts with the image acquisition in which the representation of the image data and digitization is accomplished. This is obviously done with the camera. Uh, image sensing is, is the next step to obtain a proper image from the scene. So now you op obtain an image from the scene. Then we digitize that particular image. And uh, in the last step, the image processing in which a more suitable image is actually prepared. So this is how, in fact, in fact, there are a lot of things goes on. What appears to us in a simple click, in fact, all these things typically happen in that. Now, can you think of potential applications of machine vision and automation and manufacturing based on whatever you studied in second and third year of engineering? In fact, there is a setup, laboratory setup, which could definitely use a machine vision um, um, a system as a part of it. Which is the setup that I'm talking about? Let's see if this rings a bell for you. Now let us look into components of um, a machine vision. So a components of a machine system typically, in fact, the first part is the camera itself, which may be a CCD camera or a CMOS camera. In machine vision applications, still CCD cameras are preferred, but CMOS cameras are catching up. Then you have specialized light sources with specialized illumination. Um, then you have the interface for the camera. You have the main processor. You may have a dedicated signal processor for the same. And then you have the device input output communication systems and the software for detecting features and so on. So this is typically what comprises of a complete machine vision system. So it's not just the camera. The camera is one part of it. <coughs> it includes the lighting. It includes all the accessories. It includes the interfaces. It includes the cables and also the software. So uh, let us discuss some of the some of these uh, components now. Um, there are plenty of good resources uh, available online for machine vision. In fact, the manufacturers themselves have some of the best resources that you can find. Cognex is one of one of these which I have used. There are others such as Teledyne, Dalsa, uh, Bassler. Um, um, and uh, even a lot of Japanese manufacturers, they have very good products and the information contained on their website is very informative, um, precise, and very up to date um, as a matter of fact. In fact, uh, what I have noticed is that some industrial robotics textbook, the information that is contained about machine vision systems is really very old. So in fact, these are talking about Vidicon cameras which go back to the 70s. Okay, nobody uses these today. So it is in fact more prudent to um, seek information from the manufacturers themselves rather than relying on textbooks which, uh, uh, which typically date back to the 80s and 90s. And unfortunately, the contents have not been revised in many of these textbooks. So this actually is a, a typical machine vision camera. And um, um, uh, this is one of the most critical aspect of the machine vision system. Cameras typically, like I said, are CCD cameras, ca charge couple devices, or CMOS cameras. When it comes to machine vision application, let me iterate. Um, a, a, a market study which um, I read uh, a couple of years back indicate that um, uh, CCD cameras still have the higher market share when it comes to machine vision applications, especially space and other defense applications. But CMOS has definitely caught up. Means the f when I started um, uh, looking into the subject in around 2012-13, and uh, by 2018, in fact, there was a significant increase in market share when it comes to CMOS cameras. Uh, like I said, when it comes to laptops and mobile applications, and even uh, SLRs, CMOS cameras have pretty much taken over the market. Then an important aspect of machine vision, uh, in fact, we'll be discussing this in detail in a, in a different video, is regarding lighting. So a lot of information is available regarding what are the different types of lighting, classification, how to accomplish this. But there is no vision system without the necessary and proper lighting technique based on the application. Okay. So this is one example of a lighting system which I have given over here. Another one is, is in this particular site, it's called as a backlight technique. And in fact, this website um, has an interactive setup which uh, tells you how this profile is going to look like 
um, in in the camera. So the, like I said, more details will be discussed when in in, in the uh, a dedicated video for lighting. But it's a very important aspect of the machine vision system. Another important aspect of machine vision is the software. No, no, nothing can happen without the software. You have open source software based on Python, which a lot of people widely use. You have OpenCV, um, Open Machine Vision, and, uh, and so on and so forth. But many ma manufacturers have uh, proprietary software, which they have fine-tuned for certain applications. And it's um, uh, in, in, in industrial, in, in an, any industrial setup, it's highly unlikely that you'll find open, open source software, though they are extensively used in um, research work, but most industrial applications do in, in, uh, deal with proprietary software. So what are the applications of machi machine vision? In fact, we have a dedicated vi uh, video for this, but generic domains would be control for autonomous mobile robots, for quality control applications in industry, retail automation, for example, barcode readers, um, in agricultural uh, uh, automation, it's, it's, it's a very upcoming field for detecting um, plant diseases and, and, um, um, and so on. Railway track inspection for cracks and flaws is a very specialized application of machine vision. And then you have new developments which involve development of vision systems for blind people. Another applications are biomimetics like facial recognition, positioning systems, um, safety systems for industrial environments, extensive use in inspection and quality control, and like I said, in inventory control, counting, etc., barcode reading, especially in supply chain and inventory management. So when it comes to, again, books and references, standard textbooks have good information regarding this, but I would definitely encourage you to, uh, to look up websites of machine vision manufacturers. These um, have very good and very relevant information when it comes to cameras and uh, uh, algorithms for machine vision, and in fact, a lot of other things. With this, we'll call it a day, and in the next video, we'll talk about um, uh, talk in more detail about machine vision applications. Thank you.